All right, uh, we have, um, appears to be item number 172238. This is a lithium, a cylindrical lithium battery cell charger. It charges these uh, 18650 uh, lithium cells. Uh, it's, claims it's a fast charger. It has a quality control, uh, pass qualification check. Um, quick charge, safe and reliable. Sticker on it. Not that uh, stickers mean much. Uh, we have we have a um, information label on it. This is a lithium ion battery universal charger. This is a model number YCD-1688. Input AC volts 100 to 240 volts, 47 to 63 hertz. Uh, so worldwide charger. Yeah, amazing, isn't it, buddy? Uh, output is 3.7 volts, 500 milliamps. End of charge voltage should be point uh, four. Excuse me, 4.2 volts plus or minus one volt. Um, it's got the U.S. style plug. Folds out. Folds in. Um, this side we have spring spring loaded uh, tensioner to keep the battery in. Now just keep in mind positive goes down, negative goes on the tensioner. Uh, now my only complaint so far is um, uh, since the cell is just just right to fit in there, it's hard to get the cell in and pushed in and without worrying about breaking it. Now, uh, when I, uh, this cell is from a laptop battery that I am rebuilding. And uh, let's see, we are at... Now, when I, I, I already charged this battery a little bit, but uh, right now we are at uh, 3.69 volts. And um, when I first put this battery to charge, probably got about 30 minutes of charging on it already. Uh, when I first put this battery on there, it was two, uh, excuse me, 0.92 volts. 0 0.92 volts. And now we're up to that 3.6 3. something. 3.69. Um, you can see the little green light comes on when you have a cell in there. Hi! Hey! Yeah, isn't that neat? And then, when you plug it in, now I haven't fully charged any cells on this yet, but when you plug it in, red light comes on, and uh, it's supposed to go green when the cell is done charging. Um, this one is a 1,865 amp hour. I think they missed a decimal in there. Um, it's supposed to be 1.865 amp hours, so um, 1,865 milliamp hours is what it should be. And this is just a cheap generic cell uh, from a portable battery pack for a laptop. It was a 116 amp hour, uh, watt hour uh, battery pack that is, is universal, and um, it, it was that that pack. You know, it's 2013. Well. A couple days is going to be 2014, but I got that at the beginning of 2000 or end of 2007. So it's an older old battery pack uh, for when I went traveling overseas. I won't have to worry about trying to find outlets places to run my laptop way back when. Uh, now with smartphones and whatnot, I really don't have to worry about that as much. But um, uh, I'm, I'm op I open that up and I'm finding all this uh, um, one row of cells. That's got, let's see, four, six, eight, sixteen cells, and uh, eight out of sixteen cells read zero volts. Uh, the other ones read anywhere from 0 0.92 up to about 1.2 volts, which I know is not good for a lithium cell. Uh, apparently, the electronics in these cells have not completely disabled themselves, uh, but... Um, what I am going to do is attempt to fully charge all the ones still showing voltages and the ones that do not show voltages um, I'm going to take out and order from Deal Extreme uh, these same cells either that or I am going 
or similar capacity cells. Either that or I am going to um, have my friend who gets a lot of salvage electronics uh, start setting aside laptop batteries um, and uh, try and recover some uh, functional cells out of there. It would be nice to have another 116 watt hours in order to play around with, even if it's not going to be used for a laptop, because I never really trust it to begin with. But um, There you go. Uh, if you want to order this item, go to dealextreme.com, or actually, no, they changed the website, so it would be dx.com, and uh, just follow the information posted on this video. Um, I have the item number, and I should have a, I think I got a direct link directly to the video. Um, which I shouldn't say I think I do because I haven't actually uploaded this video yet. So I suppose I could always enter it. Any questions, post in the comments section. And, uh... It's getting a little warm. A little warm, not much. A little bit. Battery's cool. I'd say 500 milliamps would be a fair speed to charge one of these at. Um, I currently have a uh, Tesla Model S car, and the Tesla Model S has, um, let's see, I have the 60 kilowatt battery pack, so I have roughly 7,000 of these cells to power my car. Ain't that awesome. And the 85 kilowatt pack has roughly 8,500, or 8,000 uh, of these same size form factor cells. Fun stuff. Enjoy. Oh, I got a real nice uh, yeah. two hundred. Uh, it was a three hundred lumen uh, Cree flashlight that uses these cells coming shortly, and um, I'll be definitely. I'll be using this. I got. I bought this charger originally to charge that flashlight. Only this charger came. came well, it's going to be coming about a month before the flashlight will. So, in about a month, I'll be able to review the flashlight and um, also got some brand new. I think three thousand. There are three three amp hour cells. So I'll see what happens. Bye bye. Cheers. Cheers.